Hi, I'm Amanda Skelton, an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how to make this really nice sort of card box. Um, so you can do this as a give this as a gift. So make this a really pretty box. And then you can actually put I can open it. And then you can actually put some note cards and gift cards in there. Um, you could give that as a gift so that somebody has, um, especially at the moment if we're during lockdown, it's not always easy to go outside and get cards. So it's a really nice gift that you could give a selection of birthday cards, um, get well cards, thank you, etc. And you could give this as a really nice gift to somebody so that then they have, have their own stash of cards to, to give out. And it's in a really nice, attractive box. Um, this um, design I've used... Um, using the World of Good paper, designer series paper and the stamps. Um, so this would be quite nice as a mail card box. You've got to remember that if, especially if gentlemen are on their own, um, they they have cards to give out just the same as, as, as uh, women do. Um, so that's quite a nice design uh, for a mail card. Uh, sorry, for a male um, recipient. Um, I'm going to do it in a slightly different colour way um, today and I'm also going to use the uh, Dragonfly Garden Bundle as the, as the um, sort of suite that I'm going to use for the card I'm going to make today, or the box I'm going to make today. Okay, uh, this is based on um, a design I saw from Connie Stewart, um, so that really helped with all the dimensions and that that I'm going to provide you with today. And like I said, you can probably get about eight or ten cards in there, so it's really nice ample size to get a decent side decent amount of cards in there for you okay so what do we need so let's get our pieces of paper right so you need a piece of um white cardstock whisper white cardstock and you will need to take this from um a sheet of like a 12 by 12 card because it's slightly bigger slightly wider than a4 card so you will need to take this from a 12 by 12 sheet of card if it's, it doesn't have to be white it can be colored card um, but you need to it needs to be uh, from a larger sheet of card because that measures eight and a half inches by 11 inches and then along the long edge there's two score lines I don't know if you can see it and you need to score at four and three quarters of an inch and then it's six and a quarter inches and then you need to rotate it and then you need to rotate one inch up and then two and a half inches up okay so that's all your score lines there you need another piece of white cardstock and this needs to measure eight and a half inches by three inches and again you need to score along the long edge and you're going to score at three eighths of an inch one and seven eighths of an inch uh, then at six and five eighths of an inch and then at eight and one eighth of an inch and then you need to rotate it and then you're going to score up um, two and a half inches or two and a half inches from that side so it's just half an inch from this edge okay then you want some uh, designer series paper um, now it's worth saying a bit more about this this is the paper blooms designer series paper this is free in the celebration catalogue. So this is this paper here. So I don't know if you can see these different designs. I've actually got them here. So these are the papers. So you get five different designs. Actually, there's six different designs. Why am I not seeing all the designs? Oh, there you go. There's the extra one there, the one that we're actually using now. So there's two sheets each of six designs. And if I turn it over, obviously they're two-sided. So then you've got um, six more designs on the other side. Really nice colours, really nice patterns. I'm not really a flowery person, but I really, really do like this. And that's free. So if you um, place an order for uh, £45 or above, um, you can get this set free of papers. OK, so this piece of uh, designer series paper needs to be five and three quarters of an inch by ten and three quarters of an inch. And you need to score along the long edge at four and five eighths of an inch and six and one eighth of an inch. OK. Then you want a piece of coloured card that coordinates with your um, designer series paper. And that needs to be four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And then another piece of white card at four and an eighth of an inch by five and a quarter inches. So that's going to be your... 
background there for the detail on the front and then another piece of uh, designer series paper at two and three quarters of an inch by four and a half inches and now I've just got a little, a, a little off cut here so I don't know if you can see here I've just made a little design a little pattern here that's using um, the ornate gardens the ornate borders um, uh, edging but you can just use a piece of card and it just gives a little edge just to add a bit of detail so you just need an off cut of your coloured card that you've used for your base here you can just use that there um, then you want a piece of coloured card again in the same colour you've reviewed before um, what we're going to do is I'm going to use um, I've got a circle die you can use the um, stitched circle dies so the die is that I'm using is about one and a half inches diameter you can use a square star whatever you want but it's, that's probably about the right size about one and a half inches diameter or one and a half inches by one and a half inches if you're doing a square so you just need some card to do that and then some scrap paper um, because I'm going to add um, the a butterfly, so not a butterfly, the dragonfly onto the base here just to add a bit of detail. Okay, so as I've said before, I'm going to be using the dragonfly garden bundle, so that's the stamp set and the uh, coordinating punch. And I'm going to use that if you haven't got the punch, um, you luckily these aren't too complicated shapes, so you can just um, fussy cut them if you want to. Okay, so let's start with the base. So I've got the larger piece of card and you want to use your bone folder and you want to fold away from your um, your dips. So fold all your scored lines. should have something that looks like this okay so the bits that we want to get rid of we want to get rid of this piece and this piece this piece and this piece okay so those are the pieces that we're going to cut away so let's just if you want to use your um Because your uh, paper trimmer, you can do. So I'm making a right mess of this. Okay. And then on uh, this furthest piece here, you just want to mitre in the edges. Okay. And it's just going to make a nice edge there. Okay. So then we want to get the smaller piece of card. Again, you've got some scored lines there. So again, use your bone folder. Okay, now then on this piece, uh, we want to get rid of this outside here this middle piece here and this outside here so those are the bits we want to get rid of so get rid of the two small corners and then get rid of the middle little section And then all these flaps, four flaps that you've got left here, just want to mitre them again. It just makes it neater when you start folding and sticking your corners together. So 
so then you should have a piece looking like that okay so what we can do now is start making the um, the box so basically this edge here that you've cut away is going to stick onto this section here so then you'll see that that will then become your your front box and then these are going to fold in and stick to the back there like that okay so that's what we want to do so what you want to do is it's up to you if you want to use tearing tape or um, uh, liquid glue or a uh, glue tape it's entirely up to you um, I'm going to use a glue tape so you want to put glue onto that front um, flap there and then you want to fold all of your other flaps here and put glue on those okay like that okay so you've got that piece there so with your smaller sort of flaps at the bottom what you want to do is lay that flat and then or actually you can do it that actually do it that way and then you just want to offer it so that it is at the bottom edge of there just going to snip that bit there because that's going to stop it from closing properly yeah that'll be fine okay so then you basically want to close the edges in you want to make sure your edge is nice and lined up here and the same here you want to just fold that flap in there Make sure it goes in nice and flat there. Oh, it didn't go very well, did it? It didn't stick. You need to make sure you press your sections down. And then you want to then just lay it back and stick it onto so that the edges are in line with the folds here. Okay, so that's your basic box. So now we can go about um, detailing the outside. So you have your designer series paper. Again, you've got two um, score marks. So you can use your bone folder again to do that. Okay, so that effectively is going to become like a little little jacket, a little sleeve. Okay, so again, I'm going to add glue onto the outside edges. I'm going to put some down the spine and then outside edges. I'll just put that in the middle as well. So, the easiest way I found this was to hold it sort of like a, a folder and then, oh, then you want to try and get it so that it is centred top and bottom across the spine and then gently from the bottom up and if you have it folded then it means that you're not going to have it too taut. If you do it when it's laid flat when you then come to try and fold it it doesn't always want to give because you've already sort of stuck it when it's too tight and then again from the bottom edge just gently offer it up to the outside edge and then once that's done you can then just give it a good press okay so that's your background okay so before we add any more detail we want to add our um, ribbon now I'm using, I'm going to use the navy blue ribbon here, the Knight of Navy ribbon, which goes really nice with the, car, the colours that I've chosen and, and this particular paper. Now these three come as playing with patterns, so they're um, 
three reels that come together and they're just really nice colours and the Knight of Navy is just going to pick out this navy in the, the designer series paper I'm using. You want about 24, 25 inches so uh, what have we got there? 15 so that's about there okay you effectively want enough to go around and be able to tie at the, at the right hand side okay so what you want to do then is lay it underneath I keep fighting with it lay it underneath get your edges together so that that will be about halfway it doesn't have to be exact okay but and I'm, I, I position it maybe it's closer to the bottom but I position it just under um, you can do about halfway really just just about where the, the gap is okay so once you've got that because this is really narrow it's too narrow for the glue tape or for this um, tearing tape for that matter so I think I'm just going to do a little dot of glue so I'm just going to do and you've got to remember that this is going this is going to be underneath this um, base so you don't need to be too um, actually saying that I can use a glue tape can't I because it's going to be underneath something so I'm gonna do that there need to get my lengths right again oh god it keeps moving okay so it's about there and then where I've got that tape that's just gonna hold it in place for me okay and then you want to on the back end you want to then see where it's going to be make sure it's not twisted and then you want to see roughly where it's the same height and in line with your front piece so again I'm going to just put a piece of tape there don't pull it too tight otherwise again it won't give okay and then that should just be enough to hold it okay What I might do is just put a little bit more there as well. Okay. Okay, so now we can decorate the front. So um, we want these pieces of card here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to use this um, pretty flower design in the stamp set. And I'm just going to use that to sort of fill up this area of um, uh, white card. So I'm going to use the Knight of Navy ink. And I've got the um, image here. So I'm just going to stamp and ink that up. And because I'm going to be putting um, the dragonfly up here, I'm just going to have this sort of lower just so that it's... Uh, Adds a bit of detail really so make sure you've got something underneath if you're going to stamp it off the edge of your card and again I'm just going to sort of do that about there I'm just going to do it in the blue I'm not going to colour it in I'm going to keep it quite simple on this one so that's going to go on there and then um, that's going to go on there that's going to go on there to add a, an edge so what I'm going to do is next is I want to use the blue card which I've hidden and I'm just going to use a circle die to create um, a little background so let's get my on there so I'm using the darker Knight of Navy card which is the same as my background so put that one through okay and I 
finished with that machine. Finished with the die, finished with the card. So that is going to become my background here. And then I'm going to add a dragonfly. And again, I'm going to keep this quite simple. I'm going to just um, stamp white, uh, sorry, blue onto white card. Remember that your punches, sort of you, your end of your card's going to be down here. So again, make sure you stamp your dragonfly with his tail towards the bottom or the edge of a piece of card. So, like I said, if you haven't got the stamp, uh, so if you haven't got the um, punch, you can fussy cut it. Or if you wanted to, you could maybe do um, a larger circle and um, stamp that in the middle instead of having the smaller circle. And then you can use your die or, or um, a circle punch to cut the whole thing out. And you always get your spare, smaller. Um, Dragonfly as well for free on this one. Okay, so in the same way that I've just got the blue and white here, that is just going to become my dragonfly there. Okay, so now we've got everything we need, we can put it all together. So I'm going to use my silicon mat, stops glue sticking to everything else. So, okay, so I'm put that on our. Can't see the outside with that colour behind it. So we just want to centre it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I think, is. I don't know if I mind which way, I think I might put it that way. I've got a bit more detail around here knowing that that's going to be covered. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape down the edge and then I'm going to just pick up again because I'm doing this on the um, mat, it's not going to pick up the it's not going to stick to the background. Okay, so I've just got that edge there and then. Sticking it to the bottom of the paper. Okay. So I'm doing it about halfway up, I suppose. I'm just doing it so that you've got a bit of an edge, white edge here, so it just picks out. And then I'm going to do. obviously play around with if you don't have to uh, put it exactly the same way as I've done it. I'm just putting glue down the middle and that way I can just bring the wings up and it just again adds another detail and I think I might put him that way. Okay so now we're ready to put the whole thing onto our box. If you get edges, the glue tape just over the edges, just fold them back in and it just stops the glue from sticking to anything else once you've put it on. Because if you've got it on the edges, then it will stick to anything else there. Okay, so then I'm just going to make sure that that's... Let me just put a bit more glue there. Make sure you've got it the right way up and then you just want to offer that again onto the, the front of your design. Equal top and bottom. Again, just give it a push down. <clears throat> you can bring the wings up again, make it 3D and there you go. You can tie your edges up. She says. Not being able to tie it up very well at all. 
no good at shoelaces am I okay so there you have it I'll just show you seven cards there I haven't got envelopes with them yet but you can easily see so seven cards sorry comfortably eight cards with envelopes would easily fit in there but that's just a really nice size to put in there and it's very pretty as well like I said this paper is gorgeous I really like this paper um, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, obviously it's Mother's Day coming up Valentine's um, and this would just make a really nice gift. I think if, if somebody needs cheering up, I think it would just be a really nice thing to send somebody. It's practical, it's useful, it's something that they will use the cards for. With any luck, they might send you a thank you card for sending it to them in the first place. So I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, if you're interested in any of the products, um, you can find them on my Stamping Up website, which is amandascraftedcards.stampingup.net. Um, or you can always uh, leave a comment on the tutorial here on YouTube and you can um, uh, always ask more information. I'm happy to get in contact with you. Okay, until next time, take care. Thank you.